Hello everyone, my name is Michel van Duyden and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to talk about twixtering. Uh, this is going to be an advanced quick tutorial for those who have been twixtering and having problem with the warping. Let's get started. The composition settings, make sure that they're the same as you want to export it in. So if you want to make a 1080 movie, make sure the sequence settings are 1080 by 29.9. Seven. Here clip is uh, 59.94 Now um, it's always better to make a clip in 59.94 Because Twixer is gonna handle the footage way more better than 29.97 frames a second if you shoot it in that So what we're gonna do now is gonna right click on the footage Modify Interpret footage Click on the assume frame rate 29.97 and click OK. Now what this does is going to slow, pre-slow the clip. So that's going to be much more easier for Twixer to handle. I shorted the clip a little bit for our convenience, so I don't have to do it again. Drag it in the timeline. Ctrl-C, Ctrl-V, the clip a few times, right click on it and nest. Now you can rename the sequence to whatever you want. Twixter right okay now you have a nested sequence with a bunch of the same clips in it what you're gonna do now go to effect controls here and go to effect here type in twixter I use the normal one only a few options you need to think about here sensitivity to 100 the frame interpolation to motion weighted blend click smart blend and put the motion blur compensation to 1 comma 6 at least this works for me now expand this window a little bit so you can see what you're doing look for the moment that you want to twixter so uh, in the timeline press play and I want to happen it right about there maybe a little bit more like air in here in the effect controls click the stopwatch for speed Okay, it sets automatically a keyframe for 100%. Skip a few frames. Usually I do about three. One, two, three. Click add another keyframe, not to the stopwatch, because you're going to delete the Twixer. Then put it around 50%. Skip a few frames again. And then do around 5%. It usually works for me. It's then click on the timeline again. Press the forward arrow. Or scrub through the timeline, whatever you prefer. Click your add another keyframe. Skip a few frames. Click 50%. Click away or press enter. Doesn't really matter. Skip a few frames and press 100. Okay. Enter or click away. Then go to your end of your clip. And there. Okay cut the sequence where you want it, delete it and this is the how you do a really nice twixter. I'm gonna render this, uh, this out so you can see the final result and I'll be right back and welcome back and this is the final result as you can see it's nice and slow BAM no warping and it's really nice really feel it now that's about it uh, if you do encounter some warping um, just place a few keyframes speed it up a bit and then go back to the slow motion part again you can do this on music really looks really cool and really professional thank you all for watching and see you next time